<laughs> it's been a few weeks since we last sat down with our boys Dick and Dave, but the drought is over. Dick and Dave are in the house and at the table. Dick, Richard Burroughs of the Brooklyn Reader. Welcome, Dick. Happy birthday to Dick. Happy birthday, man. Happy 28 birthday. looks good on you, bro. For years, it's looked great. Huh? You're the best. Happy birthday, Dick. <laughs> you have the year. <laughs> Dave Colon, contributor at Gothamist. He writes some great articles for Gothamist. Anyway, these guys have all got, happy birthday to you too, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> it's, coming, it's coming eventually. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> these guys have all kinds of ideas to celebrate the last weekend of the first month of the Trump era, from a Johnny Cash birthday celebration to an Oscar party. Well, speaking of presidents, we have one we can all agree on. Kelly Taylor is the president of the New York City Brewers Guild and the proprietor of one of the borough's best hometown brews. That would be Kelso. Welcome, sir. Thank thanks you very for bringing much. your Thank friends. Thank you. Yeah, Kelly, yeah, thanks Somebody for being said here. to bring some beers, so here I am. Wow, you got to the <laughs> right place. Now, was yeah. Kelso invented in Brooklyn? Yeah, just up the street. Wow. Actually, just on, uh, on, uh, off of Fulton at Waverly Avenue. What's the origin story? It says in the cans that it's 2006. Mm -hmm. How did Kelso come about? Uh, Kelso came about, uh, my wife and I, Sonia, Sonia's the other half of Kelso. Nice. Uh, we started it in 2006. Wait, that bears repeating, because there's a lot of arguments about the origin of the name of oh, Kelso. There's arguments about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should see it in our house. <laughs> <laughs> we argue about it all the time. So your <laughs> she, name. She said it should have been SoCal. <laughs> well, your name is Kelly, and your <laughs> wife's name is, is so so Sonia. Sonia. Kelly Sonia. and yep. Sonia. Yep. Kelso. Oh, there we yep. go. I get it. For I the win. And we wanted to. Oh, dropping gems we wanted to do, on BK Live. Yeah. This you can use. Yeah. So yeah, this is a very important information. That's why the S is capitalized. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Context yeah. clues. <laughs> Context yeah. clues. Yeah. I'll, I'll remember if I have to spell it in something now. That that's right. a really important. That should definitely it's win not you just a drink an somewhere. You right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. No, right. Right. It just makes my life a lot easier when it is capitalized as well. Right. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, she handles all the marketing and social media and stuff, and all of a sudden, I, you know. Right. Yeah. But we wanted to make nice local craft beer and this was in 2006 nobody was there was just a, there was a very few amount of breweries it was like brooklyn brewery and six point were the only other two breweries in brooklyn at that time and there's a couple more breweries in the city we wanted to do something nice and fresh and local and and do some different things but just keep it simply good that's one of our taglines is simply good and what simply good means is there's layer and complexity and nuance to the beer it doesn't assault your senses it's got some character to it, but it's easy to drink. And that's this is our, our biggest selling beer right now, the Pilsner. Nice, golden, Can smooth. Raise a glass to our boy on his birthday. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday yeah. Dick. Yeah. Here's thank to you, Kelso. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I know what Kelso tastes like. Surprise, surprise. Mm. It's great. Yeah, did this good. start? Follow up question. Did great. this like start in your own home brewing sort of realm, and now it's expanded to its own big brewery? Well, see, so now we're going back. 25 years ago when I started off as a home brewer. Job. Yeah, well I started off as a home brewer in college um, when I was 19 because it was easier to make beer than it was to buy it. <laughs> and, then, and then I got, a, and then like every good craft you. beer. Hey, what was the drinking age back then? Yeah, every good craft beer connoisseur uh, Thank you. Uh, started, or every, a lot of good craft beer uh, producers started off as home brewers. Right, right. Because you start to get, you start to become a connoisseur um, and you know how all the flavors work together, what the malt does, what the hops do. Right. And once you, once you go down that road, once you start to appreciate these flavors, there's no going back. So I started getting, I got a job at a brewery, mainly because I spent a lot of time at the brewery. And during college, uh, <laughs> that's my biggest expense outside of books. So if I work at a brewery, it's free. Right, free right, beer. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? right. So uh, this is actually a beer we started off with. There's the Kelso Nut Brown Lager. Uh, this was our first this beer. It's first a brown. Beer. It's a brown, but it's a lager. So it's got the flavor, the toasty, the nutty character that comes from the malt. So what, is Did I not give you one? Uh, I'm is sorry. Just feel free to smack me. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not work after this anyway. Well, yeah, the, this is work. Thing, uh, yeah. Is the lager yeah. normally not brown? Is that is this noteworthy? Uh, you typically don't see brown uh, so lagers, nice. but mm -hmm. if you do see them, they call them dunkles. Which sounds a little pretentious. That sounds but, fun to say. Yeah, it's dunkel. dunkel. But but uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of times the loggers are uh, golden like this. Right. But it doesn't really matter. If, if it's an ale or a lager, the color doesn't really matter. It's the clean uh, finish on your palate. Lagers finish light and crisp on your palate because the way that they're fermented. Oh, that's so this way you can have a brown, yeah. but it snaps right off the back of your palate and, it's, and becomes refreshing. It's great with barbecue. It's great with pastas and roasted cheeses, things like so that. You so you can do beer pairings like Sarah Tracy, our friend, does wine pairings too. Like 
Yeah. You wouldn't drink this with a, a nice salmon or something. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's a little too uh, nutty. You know, and if we're talking salmon, we're talking Pacific coast, not like farm oily, raised. Oily, oily. Yeah, nice and rich. The, and, and, yeah. And, and this has a tendency to, to work well with the fish. Uh, if it's roasted, if it's uh, cooked on the grill, but if you're braising it or, or doing some sort of uh, poaching, you're going to want to do the pilsner or something a little bit lighter, probably. Roughly, how many bars is Kelso in these days? Uh, in think, Brooklyn, uh, in or Brooklyn? nationwide. Nationwide. Well, we're just in the, we're in the tri-state right now. We're shipping around uh, the tri-state: New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. But uh, in the city, we're in about 150 different uh, locations. Ooh! Um, I heard a, a number of years ago, probably four or five years ago, that we surpassed Samuel Adams in draft sales in Brooklyn. You know, because Brooklyn, pe Brooklyn people are awesome drinking Brooklyn boy. beer. You know, Good. who's that guy who made Samuel Adams? Uh, uh, and I hope you die in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, you're the birthday boy. Let's go to some weekend picks here. We'll continue with Kelso. We'll also talk about uh, New York Beer Week, I guess. But Dick, let's start with you. You're the you're the oh, yeah, birthday so this boy. Is, this is this is um, Expo this Sunday. It's our dollar, our power. It's about keeping money in the black community at Restoration Plaza. Um, I mean, everything about anything as far as you know, sort of being pro you and pro your community has just grown exponentially since the circus came to town. Yeah. <laughs> um, not my circus. Right, right, not my circus. <laughs> <laughs> so it's clearly, um, if you want to go, to, and although it's a restoration plaza on Sunday from 3 to 7, now I have poetry and uh, a lot of vendors, a lot of chance to buy some um, things that people actually make very locally. Um, but I have entertainment, a DJ, um, a fashion show. Um, so that's something that you can do, uh, our dollar, our, our power. I know from previous segments we've done, they call it the magnifier effect. If you buy local and the businesses in your community, it circulates 11 times right. before it leaves the community. The community so right. whether it's beer mm -hmm. or on Fulton, on Fulton Street, Street by right. restoration, if you spend a dollar where you live, it stays in your community 11 times before that's awesome. going to Midtown. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get after it. Right. All right, Dave Colon. Uh, the we powerhouse got at Gothamist. Go ahead, Dave. There's a couple things that are at Littlefield uh, this weekend. I guess I'm kind of cheating, sending you to two things. But, I mean, a free Oscars party. There's a red carpet. You get uh, champagne. If you RSVP, you get a little glass of champagne. And look fancy while you're watching the Oscars. It's free. Uh, and it's, uh, it's free. And there's popcorn. Littlefield's a nice place. Love it, Littlefield. Uh, the skint, the people behind it are nice people. Uh, I will admit that I know very little about what's going on with Oscars this year. I haven't seen La La Land or Moonlight, so like I have no way to uh, come down in that uh, terrible fight uh, about Hollywood's uh, racist uh, ways of uh, doing business. I saw Rogue One uh, twice, but that wasn't dominated for Best Picture. A uh, so, so you know, that's right. where my uh, cinema right. uh, priorities have been. But you know, whatever. <laughs> Yakubian devilry says that La La Land will probably win, so you can, uh, I guess, take that in with all of your, you know, anybody that you go to the Oscars party with. So can we just spend one of our next two minutes talking about what is in this glass? This is a lot in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, this, this last glass here. Well, the first two oh, beers were, were lo different styles of lager. Yeah. Uh, which, and these, those particular ones were malt-based, so you're dealing mm. with the barley and the grains that were made, uh, used in making those beers. This yeah. one is a double IPA. This yeah. is our Imperial IPA in the matte black can here. And that's and that's we put a whole bunch of hops in there. It and tastes like every beer there ever was is in this. Is in the, it's kind of jammed in yeah. there, and, and yet it's and it's joyful. My it's higher, a higher <laughs> higher ABV for the IPA, right? Yeah, this is a ten percent. This one goes to ten. Ooh, that's, my God, that's the yeah. alcohol to, in the beer. It's yeah. good to fit in a few IPAs before one p.m., <laughs> especially if you're on live television. <laughs> right? Yeah, this was a sipping beer. This would be good with buttered popcorn. Speaking of your Oscar race, I can imagine you can sit nice down. Well, I do call it a couch popcorn. beer because. Yeah. If you're going to be drinking a full 12 ounce of that, you're going to want to be on the couch citrus. somewhere. Right. <laughs> you know, right. But, it's, but that. that citrus character, that, that, that fruitiness, that tropical character, all comes from the hops. Yeah. You know, the hops are a flowering uh, vine, has cones on it. The cones, you dry them and, and use them in uh, making beers. If you add a lot at the beginning of the process, it gets bitter. Yeah. A lot of these are added towards the end of the brewing process, so it gives you a more, more character and texture. crazy, yeah. almost burgundy. So, so are, you, are you guys doing anything for, for Beer Week? Because it's obviously like New York City Beer Week. New York City Beer Week is starting tomorrow. Right. Starting right. Friday. So right. yeah, it's, uh, we have a New York City Beer Week app uh, that you can oh. download. So it's so, got cool. a different yeah. events in different boroughs. We have the boroughs broken down. Uh, there's go actually beers. 11 different beer trails in the city that we broke down. NYC Beer Week. NYC right. Beer Week. That's every week for yep. some of our so, crew. Exactly. Well, on Sunday, <laughs> uh, clearly it's a bunch of That's things going on, but on group. Sunday over at uh, the Williamsburg Hotel, um, they're going to have, because like, you know, 
you might want to do your beer week celebration with some brunch. Right. Um, so at the, the hotel, they're going to have a bevy of chefs um, that's going to be making a, uh, a bunch of seafood-based dishes and pairing them with beer. Now, the thing is that you only don't, um, and it's smoked and cured. So that smoked and cured does at least give you some kind of, it feels like it has a relationship to the beer, <laughs> but you really don't normally think of seafood and beer. Yeah. Um, uh, so I guess that is a something to investigate. Yeah. All right, Dick, Dave, let's get through more of your picks, and then we'll talk more about NYC Brewing Week. I'm not calling it the right thing, but we'll get to it. That's a, <laughs> hey, it's a Depeche Mode dance party. Uh, really, that's just like code word for, you know, 80s new wave and synth dance party, but, you know, they really like Depeche Mode, so who are we to say rename your party or something? My I'm life is a Depeche Mode dance party. Uh, there's going to be a go-go dancer. There's going to be all the music Ooh. that I talked about. It's free. Uh, it's at St. Vitus, which is great. Great metal bar. They got a lot of beer and shot specials. So you know, if you feel awkward dancing or something, you can just drink until uh, yeah. you feel less so awkward. Or maybe I don't know. It's maybe an unhealthy uh, piece of advice. Uh, you know, <laughs> use alcohol to compensate for your social shortcomings. Uh, the cat's I, out of the bag now, Dave. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is advice I've never followed, so I can't uh, really <laughs> yell at people about it. Anyway, <laughs> Saturday night, great thing to do. Right, so um, this is, I, I have an Oscar situation happening that I'm recommending is at, uh, is, uh, at the Syndicate, which is on Bogart. Um, and obviously, it, uh, the Oscars is pretty old, they're 89 years old. You know what I mean? If, you know, it's, if it was a man or a woman, it would luckily, you know, still have Social Security now. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at Syndicate, it's going to be a level of, you can get it from like 15 bucks. Where you get in and you get a you know you get a, a, a cocktail order, then it, it scales up to like a buck fifty. You can really like you know get into it, spend some dough, impress a date, <laughs> maybe impress a date, spend some money, pick the right winners, yeah, and then later on you can be a winner. All you right. never know. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what else? But the Oscars are good. Um, I don't even know who's going to win. I barely go to the movies anymore. Um, who does? Wouldn't it be cool if you knew who I was going to win? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got the syndicate. Yeah, 15 to 150 bucks. There we go. Dave, one more? What do we got? Uh, what What's, do we... I don't know. I don't oh, uh, what do I the, know? Check the Brotherhood. They're so fun. They're two dudes. They rock out all the time. They're going to be at Sunnyvale, which is, I, I always end up talking about. This Are those guys place. twins? Uh, they're not. They're they look exactly alike. They're very close. They're I, brothers. They're, Good looking dudes. I'm not sure if they're brothers. They're brothers. It Are, says right there. Well, just, the name of the band is Jeff the Brother, the bro but they right. might just be a couple of dudes who are, who are Aren't friendly. We all? They're very popular. We are. People are people. I said to Pesh Mode Dance people. Party. But Friday night, before you go to that, go to a rockin'. Rock and roll show uh, at Sunnyvale. Jeff Brotherhood will really just kind of, you know, it's like two dudes, guitarist and drummer. It's all pretty simple, and they just make you, you know, get a mosh pit or something. It's uh, cool. it's fun. What about tweens? Can they even drink? Well, you know, they'll if they they'll start bend their the own home them. brewery. They can. Right. Ah, yeah. That's what they're gonna have right. to do. They're bringing they're everything they're back around. Right. right, right. Kelly Taylor, <laughs> the founder control. of Kelso, in the house. What's right. going on? Kelly on the spot for one second, because I'm stuck on Dave's seafood. I'm sorry, on Dick's Thanks. seafood brunch with beer. Is there a like a brunch cocktail that is a beer thing that you can have without just opening a can? Oh yeah, beer cocktails. Brunch? Yeah, are there yeah. any beer, co beer cocktails that are brunchy? Uh, yeah, a number of years ago, uh, we did a, a beer cocktail brunch uh, uh, tasting at New York City Beer Week, and we had a mixologist come in, and uh, the big winner was the Nut Brown Lager, mm -hmm. uh, Bloody Mary. Oh, nice. Nut brown lager with a spicy Bloody Mary mix and uh, cool. works out pretty well. Um, uh, the, the Pilsner with a little bit of a Sprite or a little bit of a lemon uh, lemon juice, lemonade. Pilsner spritzer? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Pilsner Ooh, shandy kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, too, very too. nice, light, refreshing. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of different things you can do. This Imperial IPA is a great, a great thing to, you know, when you have a big juicy hoppy thing, it really yeah. lends itself yeah. to brunch. That's a jump off. Uh, <laughs> and you know what, I, I don't want to be forward, but you have some great cans. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is all Sonia design. There we go. <laughs> Big up to Kelly and Sonia. If you missed it, that's what the Kelso name is. It has nothing to do with Ashton Kutcher. No, <laughs> nothing. Oh, I didn't think about it. Yeah, yes. that's a deep, yes. a deep wow. reference from yeah, yeah. Kelso, yeah. right? But, horse, Kelly Taylor, too. you're the president of the NYC yeah. Brewers Guild. What does right. that entail, and what's coming up this week for? Brewing Week. New York City Beer Week. Yeah, New York Beer City Beer week. week starts tomorrow, and it's actually it's 10. every week. It's actually 10 days. Well, it's 10 days of uh, intensive beer uh, festivities. Uh, it kicks off with 
uh, the uh, opening day is Saturday. And actually, this year is the first year all three kind of marquee events are in Brooklyn, oddly Ooh. enough. Um, yeah, so the That's Brooklyn right. Expo Center is starting off with opening day. We have a fermentation festival starting at 1130 up in Greenpoint, the Brooklyn Expo Center, uh, where we're going to be celebrating was. fermented foods and, and, and beverages, mm -hmm. anything from kimchi. beers to kimchi, to pickles mm -hmm. to yogurts. Mm -hmm. So there, it's an open kind of seminar festival all it's day long. Gut the, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those yeah. micro And then we're flipping yeah. the space, and at 530, <laughs> we're doing the opening bash invitational, where we're going to have 54 different breweries from the state, uh, city, state, and region, yeah. and some from international. They're coming in and they're showing some of their specialty beers. You can meet the brewers. So that's on Saturday. And that kicks off kind of the whole thing. It's a BFD. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It's and gonna then, be an uptick in stumble bums this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a oh, lot. Be there's gonna be a Not lot. Just for your birthday. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, we do have the app, the NYC Beer Week app uh, for yeah. uh, both platforms, Apple and Android, and uh, that has by the by the day all the different things that are happening. And there's nice. there's a lot of great uh, brunches and festivals and pairings and tap takeovers. Um, so it's, it's just it's really well, intense. Well, let's do one more cheers to New York yeah. Beer Week and Woo! Kelso. Thank you. And more importantly, happy birthday, Dick, and happy birthday to uh, Mr. Jackson Daddy. out there. Oh, happy your dad's birthday. Where's your dad's birthday? Where's your dad's happy birthday? birthday, Dad? Dad? Where's your dad's birthday? Saturday. Cheers, everybody. Saturday, nice. Yes, cheers. And uh, I believe as long as we're raising a glass, I just want to share a bit of breaking news that is being shared in my ear. So today, uh, as our friend Simon hinted at on Monday, on Tuesday, on tomorrow will be televised, the New York Emmy nominations were announced. And as of last count, our fine friends here at Brick TV and our sister network, Brick TV, and uh, the folks at Free Speech TV here, 12 nominations. There you Whoa. go. Oh. 12 it's, nominations listen, it's a dirty dozen, so we hope to decorate the studio very soon with some hardware this year, right. but we are so thankful for the nomination being recognized by our peers in the field here in the nation's top media market, so 12 We'll wear it. That's awesome. Right. Yes. So, are we, are we so, oh, well, uh, you got to assume that the Dick and Dave them, segment is at least half of those Emmy nominations. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> right. I mean, give me one. Every time there's I a, like I have two one. friends with Emmys, I'm very jealous. Listen, I think I have one. Every time we do a toast, an angel gets its wings. So hopefully, <laughs> we'll also bring home one of those little winged ladies after the exactly. uh, after the awards presentation. But exactly. it's an honor to be nominated. And congratulations to everyone in the building who yes. works so hard all the time. There's an army of folks in there and upstairs mm -hmm. and uh, behind these cameras right now that do the work every damn day. Mm -hmm. And not for awards either, but we're happy to come to your party. Right. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to everyone at Brick TV on that. Right. And, uh, so yeah. is, there, what, what, is there a story behind what's happening with the situation right now? Oh, I just got some dirt on my face. That's all. Do we have more pictures? <laughs> you guys? That's how it starts. Yeah, I actually shaved. Well, I <laughs> shaved before the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Wolverine over there. I yeah, shaved um, this morning. So, um, you know, before the circus came to D.C., it was an actual old school circus, and it was Ringling Brothers and Barman Belly Circus. And now, clearly, um, you know, I mean, but then again, like, you know. Congress like, is in town. Congress is in town. Hey! <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, I'm getting where we have 13 Emmy nominations. <laughs> right, right, right. So clearly, like, you know, you won't see Spicy as the Carnival Walker or Kellyanne Conway as some kind of a clown, or but you will actually see um, the last vestiges of a circus because they're closing. This is their last trip to Brooklyn. So if you ever want, if, like, maybe you want to show your kid that animals get treated horribly... <laughs> And then, you have no way to do it. And you have no way to do it. <laughs> that maybe you can take them to the circus. It's your last chance. It's your last chance. It's your last chance at animal cruelty. Well, come last on. To smell the elephant. This weekend, Barclay. <laughs> Barclay Center, this weekend. We only have about 30 seconds left. So uh, I guess we want to say thank you again to Kelly for being here from Kelso. And uh, one more plug for Beer Week, which there's an app for, and you can find out, I'm sure, if yeah, you... It's online, nycbeerweek.com. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Kelso is everywhere. Thank you for bringing this one. We're working on it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> thank thank you. you for the story behind the beer. And Dick, Dave, any final words, final thoughts? Uh, <laughs> future socialism or barbarism. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, either or, coin flip. Let's flip a coin. And thanks for the birthday uh, toast. I really appreciate it. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Dick. Yes, yes. And uh, happy you. birthday, Dad. All right. Happy birthday, Dad. What else do we have? And congratulations once again, Brick TV.